Tim Marker. What's going on, Animal City Movie Talk fans? As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. You can all the Ryan 680 guys. Thank you so much. Happy Thursday, every single one of you guys out there. And I hope you had a pleasant week and everything that's happening with our weather change, the crazy tropical storm and everything. Hopefully you and your family are safe with the... Uh, with the disaster that happened at the coastline and everything. Hopefully every one of you guys is safe safely. And let's get right to it. So I, I do want to say, ladies and gentlemen, one of the things that I do want to talk about here is there's a few things here. So one of the things is, is that TV for myself, you know, I'm not going to go too much into depth, but the Acolyte Star Wars TV show has really been a miss for myself. And, and so like, it's really taken a, a turn where like I'm not I'm not sold on the show and it's just been not a great turnout uh, in my point of opinion here and I haven't really liked it at all from for like certain even moments certain characters and everything I feel like that it just feels very rushed and everything but yeah anyways without further ado one of the things I do want to talk about here on the show is is that one uh, House of the Dragon except House of the Dragon and the Bear that I really am anticipating them to be really great and everything there's also you know, if you know me, guys, if you know myself and everything, I'm a huge, huge Batman fan. You know, one of the things I do want to really say is that the Batman, when it came out, uh, that movie was spectacular. I think I enjoyed the Batman way more than I thought I ever did in my entire life. You know, the Batman was definitely a refresh of a movie that really exceeded my expectations so much. And... I was, I would be, you know, before watching the Batman though, that came out, um, I was very, very like critique and everything. You know, I was very just like, I don't know if it's going to be as good. Uh, is it, is it too soon? Cause that's really was the question back then when it first came out. Is it too soon? Is the Batman too soon that came out in 2022 is, is since the last movie that came out, since we got the Zack Snyder cut and everything. That was one of the questions that I, was really surfacing throughout the web, throughout the internet. And, and, and definitely vloggers, YouTubers talked about that a lot. They really did. How, how the Batman, um, is it too soon, right? Is it too soon for the Zack Snyder cut? But, uh, needless to say, Obviously, we were wrong. I, I was happy to be wrong. And that's the thing, too. I, I, I was very happy to be wrong. And I enjoyed that movie way more than I thought I would. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed that film a lot more than I thought I would. And, um, and yeah, I mean, put a comment down below, guys. Did you enjoy the Batman that came out in 2022? Uh, what did you guys think? What was your thoughts? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Because, uh, again, I go back to where, like, I guess you could say I'm already biased because I'm a huge, huge Batman. P Batman's my number one superhero of all time. And I really enjoyed that movie with Paul Dano. Uh, Robert Pattinson, I wasn't really sold on him. But that whole realm of Gotham, you know, I, let's be honest here. That whole realm of Gotham that they really established, that Mr. Matt Reeves established and everything was so spot on good that I really did enjoy whenever they announced the penguin series they announced the penguin series and i was all like huh and at the same time though okay when you call me crazy guys so if you ever gone to a movie and you know the cast right you know the cast you know who they're going to play you know okay they're going to this person's going to play the batman this person's going to play alfred you kind of already you know you you get a sense of like okay they're going to be this character and everything they're going to look like this certain way but for me for me I knew Colin Farrell was in the Batman, but holy crap, he is so spot on fantastic. I could not even tell that was Colin Farrell. I couldn't even tell by his voice. I couldn't tell by, I was like, dude, this, I, I mean, it took, it probably, it was probably what the third scene he was in in the movie where I was like, holy smokes, that's Colin Farrell. I just couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't believe my ears, what I was hearing and everything. Um, it definitely kept it, it kept me entertained on so many levels here, and I feel like that they really did exceed on that as far as with the penguins uh, and everything. How his character really had these moments, and not even that. You know, there's this scene in the Batman. If you go back watching the Batman, um, there's this scene where he's tied up and he's walking around like uh, he's tied up. Batman has him there uh, uh, along with, uh, not Commissioner Gordon, but uh, uh, Police uh, uh, Gordon and everything. So it, it definitely has those symbolizations of 
penguin and when the way he was walking i just i love the i love the little notations that matt reeves had really put into it and he really had this creative movement in itself paul dano did a fantastic job as riddler i feel like that again people go, go back to where like well it wasn't jim carrey Riddler. but one thing i will say one thing i will say i love jim carrey as the riddler i did I still do. I still watch Batman Forever. Whether you like Val Kilmer as Batman or not, I, I, Batman Forever is a guilty pleasure of mine, and I really did enjoy that. Put in the comments down below. Did you enjoy Batman Forever? Let, it, let me know in the comments down below. But I love Tommy Lee Jones as Cheat Face. I love uh, Jim Carrey, of course, as an actor himself, as both actors. I love them both. Um, and seeing them play the villains that they did was so spot on great. I feel like that the time of the world was just definitely a different a different time, a different place. And it was more, uh, uh, more comedy-based villains versus what we had now. Because even when we got the Nolan verse, we got Two-Face, which was played by by a uh, um, great actor aaron eckhart and he did a great job in it a more serious tone a more realistic way if batman were to exist if toothpaste was to exist or if joker was to exist and everything so i really did enjoy that a lot in, in the nolan verse that we got out of it i'm a huge christopher nolan fan uh oppenheimer one of my top uh, number one movie of last year and everything so with that being said and everything I'll, that's kind of why I was kind of on the fence on this one was because the when the Batman first came out, which 2022, and it's it, and if you do not know, I hate to break the news to every single one of you guys out there if you do not know, but we have to wait till 2026, and it sucks. I hate that. Believe me, I hate it as much as you do. 2026 will be the sequel to the Batman, and we have to wait so long and everything. But anyways, um, so knowing that we have to wait till 2026 penguin was supposed to uh we i already figured and when they announced it already that it was penguin was going to come out this year and here's the thing penguin you know we go back to where colin farrell really i didn't expect any of that whenever colin farrell was on screen if he wasn't he was uh, here's the crazy part crazy part guys the most memorizing thing or the most uh just fantastic thing that really exceeded my expectations was I knew Colin Farrell wasn't going to be the main villain. He wasn't. We knew it was going to be the Riddler. We knew that. We, we knew that he was going to be the main uh, uh, the main person that he has to take out. But at the same time, though, we knew that Matt Reeves was setting up more villains in Gotham and everything. And one of the things I did appreciate and loved so much was Matt Reeves was that he really established the Penguin. He established to see exactly what world are we going into he's just uh he's not even a boss he's just a uh a, a to-go per a person that they really just like toss to the corner like you do my job with the Valcone family it's just it's so crazy and then they announced that this show was happening the penguin on dc max and everything and matt reeves is involved of course i was definitely surprised i was definitely on board for this because of the way that Matt Reeves really, really did a great job in the Batman and everything. And a lot of people were like, why is the, why is the penguin logo like that? I actually don't have a problem with that. I don't whatsoever. And then when we got the first teaser a few months ago, I was, I mean, granted it was only like a minute long, I believe maybe not even less than that. That teaser was so great. So spot on. And it got us into the realm of Gotham, you know, Batman, you know, uh, Knowing that this was, you know, this dark realm and everything, I really did enjoy that a lot too as well, was the fact that Penguin, Colin Farrell and everything, I he has those moments where he could take us to that dark realm. He can lead a TV show. He can lead a movie. And yeah, I'll leave it at that, guys. But let's get right to it. Uh, let's talk about this Penguin trailer that just got released today. Haven't seen it yet, so I'm definitely excited. Put in comments down below. What do you guys think? Are you excited for the Penguin series coming out later this year on Max? Uh, and yeah, I'll leave it at that, guys. Let's get right to it. Let's talk about this trailer. All right, let's go. One second. Let's go. One, two, three. I'll be calling the shots. <laughs> okay, okay. Hmm. The penguin. Let's go. Look at this. What that madman did. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> 
Listen, Sal. Carmine Falcon's dead. <laughs> and I'm here now. I'll be calling the shots. Dude, bro. Cinema. The Look at that. Still licking their wounds. They're distracted. The business will be ripe for the taking. Damn. My father's been dead a week. You want to take what's mine? Oh, shoot. I'm the daughter of the Falcon Don. But he's dead. And the family thinks I'm broken. I'm not broken. Oh. You and me, kid. We gotta take whatever we decide is ours. Cause no one's gonna give it to us. We're not without a fight. <laughs> Damn, Penguin. You work for the family. You will do as you're told. I refuse to let these old men push me aside again. Dude. So I'm gonna take from them now. And I'm gonna force them to their knees. What is it you're really after, Oz? Oh. You gotta tear down the Empire from the inside out. You know, Oz? People underestimate you, but not me. I've always known you were capable of more. Wow. Damn! Holy smokes! Yes! 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 Holy crap, guys. Okay. All right. First and foremost, um, that trailer. Again, we we talk about trailers. What's the point of a trailer? I want I do always want to mention that, of course, because what's the point of a trailer? A trailer is supposed to get you excited for that movie project. Granted, some trailers are bad, some trailers, some trailers are bad, and the movie's great some sometimes it's reverse sometimes the trailer's bad and the movie's fantastic so regardless though regardless this trailer is fantastic there's a lot of moments on here what i do love colin farrell in here and, and he's a phenomenal actor uh he's on that uh, another apple tv series which i haven't yet to see but i've heard good stuff about he's on an apple tv series that's just about to end the season uh which was called sugar i believe colin farrell He's killing it, man. So put this into your mind, guys. I'm going to put this into your mind because this is how realistic I love how this trailer gives us and how this uh, characters and everything. So if you were to take out the Penguin or just forget it's a comic book based TV show slash movie that came out from the movies for the Batman. Take out that it's a Penguin character. This looks like the sopranos this looks so amazingly shot i mean look at the gotham shot that i do i just love that gotham shot that we got out of here and and matt reeves is killing it man oh my gosh you know this series can really go for the and it lo looks like it is the dark realm of gotham which which i'm going back to where star wars because i love star wars i i, I love star wars so much this is almost, this is exactly what I wanted out of Book of Bubba Fett. This is exactly, but we got that garbage of a series, and that was just a terrible, a terrible series. But needless to say, this is spot on to what exactly Max is coming out. This is definitely HBO cinema. This is definitely that, t it doesn't even feel like a TV show. It feels almost like a Max original movie, and I love that. I love that so much. You know, this Colin Farrell shot is so beautiful. I, I just, dude, he looks amazing. There's these moments in here where you see the flood. Also, I'm kind of, I'm kind of figuring out where this timeline is. Come comment down below if you know, but as of right now, I'm guessing this is, I, I assumed again, this is me assuming. I assumed that we were going to take the penguin series and it was going to be like a year, maybe a month, a few months after the Batman. But this does look like it's going to hit right after the Batman movie that just came out uh, in, back in 2022. So I'm excited for that because Penguin is blaming. I don't know if he is, but I'm assuming he's blaming the Batman because look at the flood. Look at what all he's did. Or it could be the other families as well. And then knowing that he's actually taken to the streets of Gotham and really running the running the place running the falcon taking over trying to beat the falcon family and and it just it looks so spot on amazing fantastic this show looks great there's a lot of like just key moments in here that i really do love the the violence is there there's a lot of like 
personal agenda and personal gain here that i really did love the whole mobster i love mafia movies i'm not gonna lie the godfather is one of my favorite movies of all time and i definitely love that mafia mobster kind of feel so me coming from that you know coming from that side of filmmaking and everything coming from that side of genre that i do love I think I'm re I'm really going to enjoy this. And put in comments down below, guys. What do y'all think about the Penguin? Let us know in comments down below. Uh, and are, are you excited for this show? There's Max is coming out with really good hitters, guys. So let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, without further ado, uh, I'm going to ask you once again, ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy the Batman that came out in 2022? Because I'm, I'm very interested to see what everyone's point of views are and everything. Because for me, I enjoyed it so much, way more than I should have. And yeah, I'll leave it at that, guys. But thank you so much for making me a part of your day have a good one guys and if you are going to be at Super, uh, superhero comic con i believe lex will be there tomorrow so be sure to say hi to lex he'll be there tomorrow as well and then you'll see us saturday and sunday guys have a good one stay safe san antonio and i'll see you at the movies have a good one guys